What's going on everyone? In this video, we'll learn about how to create this kind of 3D motion graphics effect inside of Blender. So I'll use geometry nodes for this effect. So let's get started. So first we'll set up the basic geometry and then edit that to get the final result. Here in Blender, we'll select this camera and light and delete it. Then select this cube and go up here to the geometry nodes tab. Let me zoom in a bit. Now here add a new geometry node group. In order to make this effect, we need to instance spheres into an icosphere. Let's go ahead and delete this group input and add an icosphere. Now I'll connect this to this group output. As you can see, this is our icosphere. Now I'd like to instance UV spheres into these points. Let's add an instance on points node. Then I'll add an UV sphere. Let's connect this. As you can see, we got something weird here. So let's bring down the radius like this. Now to get the desired effect, we'll need to distort this whole offset. For that, we need a set position node. After that, we need a noise texture. Let's connect the color to the offset. can see that the geometry is shifting. To fix that, we'll do a simple step. Add a vector map node, set it to subtract. And type 0.5. This will fix the problem. Now we'll duplicate this node set it to scale this will basically control the intensity of this effect we can edit this noise texture like this let's set it to 40 now if we change the w value can we get kind of what we're looking for let's bring down the scale value here radius also yeah looks good let's create a timeline window here set the duration to 120 frames which will give us 5 seconds of animation now if we animate this value from let's say 0 at frame 1 to 1 at frame 120 it will give us an animation let's see this let's set this to linear the animation is jumping from the last frame to first frame it's not looping so you can use a technique here to loop this which I learned from Dagi 3 d and check out this channel for more details We can duplicate this node. Now let's add a mix node. Set this to color. Add this here. Let's set a keyframe here. Then set the value to 1 in the last frame. At frame 120, set a keyframe here. At frame 1, let's set it to minus 1. Let me put a keyframe here. Set everything to linear. Now 
then move all these keyframes to frame 0. Now it's perfectly looping. You can boost the scale up. Let's add a set sets mode node. Which will smooth everything out. Now if you are satisfied here, you can go ahead and render this. But if you want an extra step, we can go a bit advanced. In order to do that, we'll add First of all, we'll visualize this icosphere by pressing Alt Shift Left Click. Now I'll add a delete geometry node. For the selection, we'll use a random value node. We'll set this to face. Let's reduce this probability. We can change the random seed. Now let's connect this. Now if you visualize, we can see this. Let's increase the subdivision of the icosphere by increase this radius a bit. Duplicate the instance on points node. And here we will use this inverted option. Instance will be the same. Now, before set position, we'll add a join geometry node and join these two instances. Let's visualize this. Let's randomize the scale of here using a random value node. Something like that. Point three two one. We also connect this here. Maybe we can change this a bit. Now we got an effect like this. So now to get the desired effect, we need to add a save material node. Place one here after this first instance on points node. Now duplicate this one after this node. Let's move to the material tab. Here we'll call this material plastic. And create a new one called emission. Maybe we need to adjust this. Here we'll choose emission and here plastic. Now let's move to shading part. So here we have the emission material. First we'll go to the plastic here. Set the color to something bluish like that. We'll also add random color which I will show you later.
we separated the geometry and used the selection and inverted into the instances. So we get two materials here. We can set this color to black and the emission color to white. Set the strength to 2. As you can see, we are kind of getting the effect. Now to add random color to the plastic, first add an object info node. Then add a color ramp node. Set this to constant and first I'll select this color. For this, I'll select purple kind of a color. We'll not use more than two colors here. For this, we'll use this random value, which will give different value for every instance. We'll current the random into this. Now you can see we got something like this. This is looking pretty cool. Here you can add camera, some cool lighting and heat render. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Comment below if you like this video. See you next time.